time for another video. Sorry about the noise in the background. I feel like I have to apologize in every video. Um, there's a fan currently on in our house. It's not as hot as it's been the past couple days. So we just have a fan on instead of an air conditioner. But totally going off topic there. Um, I actually got a request to review the remake of House of Wax from 2005. I know the original is a Vincent Price classic. I'm not gonna lie, I've not seen the original. I still want to check it out at some point. Just haven't gotten a chance to see the original. But a lot of people either love the remake of House of Wax or they absolutely hate it. I'm kind of like on the fence, honestly. Um, I wouldn't say I hate it. It's not my favorite remake by any means. It's really cringy at times. But um, I wouldn't say it's like the worst remake I've ever seen. I've seen some pretty bad remakes. But um, it, it's, it's an alright movie. I mean... <laughs> Um, it's definitely, there's some things that don't really make sense to me at all in this movie. Like the fact that the building, the house of, the house of wax is actually made of wax. I don't think that's humanly possible. Um, I would under, I, I mean, I understand like wax figures and all that, but like the whole building itself is made out of wax and at the end, um, it all melts. Like it, it's so weird. I don't know. And the fact that Vincent, the main like villain in this, well him and his brother, I forget the brother's name, but um sorry, I thought I heard something. But um Vincent he well his parents were like wax figure people, like they made wax figures and he kind of tries to follow in their footsteps, but he doesn't really make wax figures himself. He basically kidnaps humans and um kinda forms the wax around the human so it wouldn't be considered a wax figure per se it's just um a human covered in wax it's not really a wax figure uh i mean it's it's definitely weird i don't know <laughs> um there's just some things that don't like i said just some things that don't really um hold up well i know a lot of people's um, least favorite thing about this movie is Paris Hilton. I mean, she's completely terrible in this movie, and I'm pretty sure if I was in the movie theater in 2005 and saw her death scene, I probably would have cheered too, like all the other people said that they cheered when they saw her die, just because she's not really a good actress. I don't know. She, uh, To me, she just tries a little bit too hard in this movie, and I don't think she really went on to do other stuff either. Uh, I mean, I have no idea. Chad Michael Murray does an okay job as the um, whiny twin brother. I, I call him whiny because he is like very whiny in the movie. He's mopey and just like, I forget the sister's name, but she was in a movie called The Girl Next Door. Um, Alicia Cubber? I don't, that's her, the actress's name, I think. But I don't know her name or her name in the movie. I for, kind of forget. It's been quite some time since I watched A House of Wax, but that's not really all I have to say about it. It's an okay movie. If you like to, like early 2000s movies, you'd probably like this. But yeah, that's basically all I have to say about House Wax. Sorry it's short. Um, I just don't have much to say about it. But stay tuned on Thursday for my review of Blood Harvest, the Tiny Tim classic from 1987. But there's a movie you guys want me to review. Comment down below on this video and let me know what that movie is. And I'll be sure to get to it as soon as possible. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys on Thursday for a review of Blood Harvest. Like I said, sorry about this review being short. But I'll see you guys then.